What's up with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, people, you man, fanboys and fangirls, bros and women. Of course, as always, the Taco Jinky Morning's out there. This is Nintendo Sony Free 2011, a.k.a. Manny Wolverine. And, of course, you guys know the rest of the intros and outros out there. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and all that good stuff. And speaking of which, I finally got my Twitter thing back, but I did make a backup one just in case it ever gets suspended. So, FYI there. Also, before I begin, there's three super fast things I want to talk about. Many people have never lived here in Vegas. Um... Or if you're just visiting here, maybe you're watching me right now, I don't know. You'll notice outside for the past couple of days, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday it might have started because it's Saturday as I'm doing this video, but this video is probably not going to be up till Sunday, I don't know. Um, There was a fuckload of grasshoppers out there. I don't know why there's a shit ton of fucking grasshoppers and gnats and a shitload of cicadas all over the place. I know that the weather-wise, scientists-y sort of side, I know the people on the internet and the news were saying, oh, it's because we had a wet winter and we had a real dry summer. That's the reason they're all over the place. When I was playing Pokemon Go earlier today, it's Saturday and Sunday. I usually don't work until Monday through Friday because it's usually when I work in my hotel casino job, which I'm not going to tell you guys because as much as I love my subscribers, unfortunately, you guys are still strangers. I have no idea who you are, what you are, what you guys do for a living. I don't know. Unless you're like a younger elementary, middle school, or high schooler kid. That's stumbled upon my channel. Or if you've been with me for a while, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the shit. Anyways, yeah, as far as I was saying, yeah, that shit was pretty fucking crazy. When I was playing Pokemon Go, it was about five or six of them that hit my chest. I don't know why. And it was just ugliest things. If you know me, I have a very huge ass bug phobia. These things didn't really scare me as much. So as a, now if there were a bunch of bees or hornets or wasps that were swarming all over the place, then I'd be scared as fuck. But since they're grasshoppers and they don't really bite people or sting people, you know, I wasn't as scared of them as much as I usually would be. And then the second crazy ass news over here, it's again, it's local news here in Vegas. Um, they say, I think next year in 2020, I'm not sure if this is going to go all over the country or all over the world for that matter, but here in the United States where I live in Nevada, um, they said they're actually going to have a school program and think for fucking people that want to be esports professional gamers. How crazy as fuck is that? I do not know. I wish they would have had that when I was in school, but of course the internet and social media was just barely a fucking toddler at that time. Because we had the old school daily booth, MySpace, took Cam, Blah TV, all this old shit. Half of the sites that I, I'm main right now, they probably don't exist anymore. And others, they got bigger, like Facebook and Twitter. I was during, like, I think my senior year and freshman sophomore year of college. They got a lot more popular, and look where it is now. Twitter's a way different place now compared to how it used to be, though. It's a bunch of SJW fucks nowadays. I just talk shit 24-7. And then the last thing, I'm going to get to this soon, but... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was, but this chick, uh, I've followed her for about two years already on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. Oh, this dude, I've followed him for about four years. You read Tech USA? I know a lot of people don't like his ass because he likes to lie and cheat on a bunch of shit. Some people have his personal vendettas with him. But to be honest with you, I think he's a decent dude. I remember this dude I used to follow, Killer Comedy at least. He doesn't have a YouTube channel anymore because he shut it down. Um, He quit because he has an IRL job, and I respect him for that. That's all good. I don't know what it was, but him and this one chick right here, fucking Zoe Two Dots. If any people don't know who this is, um, she's a Pokemon Go YouTuber that does a lot of like Pokemon Go content and Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna try to sound too sexually explicit because I don't want YouTube to take down my video or nothing. It's the last thing I gotta do. Cause I don't do this as a real life job. I already have my IRL real life job already, so even if I were to lose my channel, it would suck. I would talk a lot of ass because I had this for almost nine years, but at the same time, I'd be okay with it in a way. But that doesn't mean I don't want people to be flagging my shit, so please don't flag the video. I'm not saying that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I know in real life, I'm not going to disrespect a dude. Um, if her fiance slash husband, um, Alan, is watching this video, I mean, I'm not saying your wife is ugly or your wife, your fiance's like not hot enough or she's not ugly or nothing. She's, she's all right. I've seen a lot of girls besides this chick right here, Zoe Two Dots, way more hotter than her. I mean, she's decent, but she ain't the best looking chick I've seen. I mean, I'm not going to say throw shade at her like that, because, you know, if you see my IRL face in real life, or on my other YouTube videos where I have shown my face, you know I'm a pretty big ass, fat ass dude. Let's keep it 100. I'm a pretty big ass, 250, 280 pound dude. But for some reason, <laughs> this dude, I don't know why. Review Tech USA, he ended up, I was having this weird ass dream last night about his, like, hey, dude, you shouldn't fucking have sex with them, that you shouldn't have any sexual, like, 
advantages to Sori Tudas because she sucks on, like, she does bestiality with animals and she sucks go fill in the blank because I'm not going to say the word because I don't want YouTube to fuck me over like that. Let's just call it jizz for now. <laughs> um, He said that. I was like, what? Why would she do that? And then out of nowhere, I don't know why, and no offense, if you ever watch this video, Zoe, I'm not trying to degrade you as a woman or nothing. I'm not trying to put you down as a woman. You're, you're a decent, all right, cute chick, but you're not very, very hot or beautiful. You're, you're all right. You're decently okay. I'm not saying you're going to be average either, but I don't know why this bitch went down on me. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to keep it 100. I'm going to keep it raw and uncut. <laughs> the bitch gave me some fucking head. And it, I'm not going to lie. It felt fucking good. And I like the ones when I have sex with girls in real life off camera, obviously, off of YouTube, once a month. And they're all right, too. They were a lot better looking. I'm not going to say it's prostitution either. I'm just lucky enough I just get girls once in a while. Um, But yeah, she wore the same little nail thing she had. She was wearing this like light blue lipstick on her lips. It was good. Sex was all right with her. It was decent. It wasn't the best in the world, but it was. It was all, I, I enjoyed it a little bit. Not too much. But no offense to this chick if you happen to watch this video. But yeah, there's those that. But let's get on to the main news right here. So Fire Emblem. The people over there in Nintendo, and I don't know, I think it was, I don't know what the fucking name of the company's called, but the same people that make Fire Emblem, um, the three houses is getting replaced. One of the voice actors gets replaced after sexual assault allegations. Admin, numerous accomplices towards Chris Noyes, Nintendo will be given Fire Emblem three houses, Bethel, a new voice actor. I'm not sure if I'm going to go over this one from Screen Junk, is this dude named um, Andy Sigour. Never heard of him, but I have heard of Screen Junkies on... Um, What's it called? Um, Honest Trailers before. I've heard of those channels. i just not subscribed to them. But yeah, let's go. Fire Emblem Three Houses yesterday release. Excuse me. Release yesterday being the first game in the series to a home console platform for since Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn on the Wii. We are currently hard at work on a review, but numerous popular outlets have given the game a rave responses. While this is exciting news for the fans of Nintendo going on the replacement of voice actors, and getting learning replacement, excuse me, voice actors in the game after learning an ongoing controversy. Chris Noisy, hopefully I'm saying that right, was recently announced to be the voice of Bethleth, however you say it up, the main, the male player customized protagonist for the game. Following the announcements, the fact that the voice actor has a history of being accused from ex partners for sexual harassment, sexual assault, <clears throat> starting at the game's more attention. One of Noisy's former partners decided to take action after learning he was voicing Fire Emblem characters, releasing a public Google Docs so saying that shared information regarding Noisy's behavior towards him. The document explains how the actor broke an NDA with Nintendo about his voice acting character on Discord. You can read all that there if you want. I guess I'll read this part right here. The voice actor also did work for Bethel and Fire Emblem Heroes of the Three Houses event. Nintendo quickly replaced Noisy and Heroes with Zach Aguilar. Hopefully I'm saying that right. After finding out about the accusations. And the same thing will, will be happening with the main game soon. Nintendo put out a following statement on Game Informer regarding Chris Noisy. After assessing the situation, we decided to re-record the character's voiceover in Fire Emblem the Th Three Houses and Fire Emblem Three Houses with another actor. The new voiceovers will be included in further patch. Nintendo did not specify if it will be Aguilar replacing Noisy again for the three houses, though we will let you know when his voice is changed. You can keep up with DualShock as Fire Emblem, da -da -da -da, as we work hard to get out as soon as possible. Overall thoughts, these and opinions. I'm a little sad and extremely disappointed about Nintendo doing this shit. They're pretty much, they're saying what they said that they were going to do two fucking goddamn years ago. They weren't going to fucking... Start listening to this bullshit hashtag Me Too movement. What the fuck, Nintendo? Really? Why the hell did you have to replace it? Oh, because he got he got fucking sexual allegations. It probably didn't happen more than likely. I mean, if he did end up raping and molesting those women in the before in the past, and yeah, then he has every right to get replaced. And that's fucked up. He should never did that. But at the same time, um, if he ends up being falsely accused of this shit, Nintendo pretty much just fired him on the spot right there and replaced him with this Mr. Aguilar dude, which. I don't know if he's any good of a voice actor. I'm not sure if I've heard of him in anime voice acting. English does before. Maybe he's a good guy. Maybe he's not. But it sucks that Christopher Norris has to get replaced like this. That's kind of a bitch slap in the face. And shame on you, Nintendo, for doing that. That's fucked up. 
as much as I'm a Nintendo fanboy, I don't agree with every single little thing that they fucking do. That's absolutely uncalled for. I'm probably going to be able to read half of this article, so I'm probably not going to do my outro today. So, I don't know. Here we go. So, String Junkies creator Angie Sigour breaks silence to defend his name after settling to Defy Media Studios. This comes from Spencer, Spencer Bakula, July 23rd, a couple days ago. So, I'm a little late on this one, but I wanted to talk about it. Andy Sigour, the creator of the popular internet commentary channel Screen Junkies and one of his first major personalities to be accused of sexual assault following the start of Hashtag Me Too movement, which fuck them, they could go kill their sub, has ended in his absence from the internet with a video defending himself and the accusations providing the evidence of his accuser, th truthfully. I've watched the whole video. I don't know if the dude's telling the truth or not. If he is, it sucks ass that he had Defy Media had to let him go. Um, but if he did do this shit, that's kind of fucked up. Like I said before, only God knows if this dude did this shit or not. Let's move on. On June 25th, Sigour settled his def defamation against his former employer, Defy Media. Sigour, Sigori, however you say that last name, was suspended by Defy Media on October 6, 2017, following sexual assault allegations. While the terms of the settlement have not been made public, Sigour gave a statement to Verity indicating that his next goal was clear in the name. You guys can read that part there. The release of the evidence information came July 22nd, and Sigour uploaded a video on his latest channel, Popcorn Planet, titled Hashtag Me Too Misfire and Honest Defense of Andy Sigour. So there goes that. You guys can read all his little like um, things there that he was talking about in his own words. I'll leave the link to the video if you want to watch it yourself, or if you want to watch it here, I don't know. However, Sigour fully rejects the accusations of an assault and dis depictions of himself as a predator, starting that, quote, these ingricious claims, labeling me as a sexual predator, the workplace harassers, and a rapist, are categorically untrue, unquote. Sigour was first sexually, excuse me, first accused of sexual assault by a woman named April O'Donnell, a.k.a. April Dawn. She first accused Sigour assault in October of 2017. She followed up her initial accusations with detailed a statement archive link, claiming that Sigour had tried to force himself upon me, took photos of me without my permission, and that he used my relationship with Screen Junkies employee against me. I've never heard of this chick before I keep going, April Dawn. I have no idea what the fuck she does. I'm not sure if she's a voice actor, so if she's an uh, anime artist. I don't know what type of label she has, but she has some sort of fame to her. Uh, as far as this bitch little cunt, and whether, whether she fucking lied about her or not, because I think there were archived pictures of her. I'm not going to show any of it. I'm not going to link down below. You guys are going to have to find that shit yourself. Uh, so no link in the description box down below for her being naked pictures and all that, because they are pictures of her that are actually naked. I haven't watched them myself before this video, but if they are out there, this bitch fucking lied about her. Fuck her. I hope she goes to prison, which she probably won't, but if she did... She deserves every single goddamn day in her life in a fucking cell. Fucking ruining this man's life? Absolutely fucking goddamn uncalled for. Fuck that. He's an asshole. Or not he's an asshole. She's an asshole for doing that shit. So, um, hopefully she gets screwed over later on in the future. Fuck that shit. In his video, Sigour presents multiple pieces of, ed of evidence to refute these claims. And there's a bunch of little, like, um... Parts of the video, I guess he was talking about there. And this other chick, he also mentions here. I don't know who she is either. Emma Browers. Bowers. I guess she might be a voice actor or anime artist or whatever the fuck she is. I think that's all of it. I guess I could read one of these tweets before I go. I'll get my overall thoughts, views, and opinions maybe in another video just in case I don't get them. So this is some lying little bitchy cunt. I'm not sure if she lied about it or not. She said, um, when I came forward a few years ago, I knew everything that was displayed in the public video could be made today. I decided to go forward regardless because I wanted to make sure there was no harm that came to any more women. I was ready, and then I was ready now to take the hits, comments, criticisms you can throw at me because at the end of the day, I know my truth and what I did was right. I was a teenager and I made mistakes and I made a lot to live with them. I am not giving any more of my time and energy to this movement. I'm done. Of all thoughts, views, and opinions, I don't know if this bitchy little cunt was fucking lying. April Dawn, I don't know if you see this video. You can go fuck yourself if you lied about destroying this fucking man's career, man. Absolutely fucking uncalled for. That's all I gotta say for now, and I'm out of here. Peace out, ladies and goodbye. We'll see all you people on flip side. Take it easy, I'm gone. Laters. And uh yeah. Hashtag um support the dude Andy Segor. Peace.